Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared over 16. This is equal to 16 over x squared. So let's provide a solution here. So we have x squared over 16. This is equal to 16 over x squared. So the first step is to cross multiply here, so that we have x squared times x squared this is equal to 16 multiplied by 16. Now, we can express 16. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. So this implies we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 4 to the power of 2. Now, x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 2 plus 2. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 plus 2. So we have x to the power of 4. This is equal to 4 to the power of 4. Now let's take 4 to the power of 4 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 4, this is equal to 0. Now, we can express x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 4, which is 4 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b. Then we have a minus b. Now applying this identity. Now applying this identity, then here we have x to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2. Multiplying by x to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now we have that x to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. And we have x to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, let's let's start with case 1 here. In case 1, we have x to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation here is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi multiplied by a minus b i so this means that x to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2 this is actually equal to x plus 4 i multiplying by x minus 4 i this is equal to 0 so we have got two parts here the first part is x plus 4 i this is equal to 0 and we have x minus 4 i this is equal to 0. So this implies that x1 is equal to minus 4i, and we have that x2 is equal to 4i. Now let's proceed to case 2 from here. Case 2, we have x to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. So this implies that here, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, that can be expressed as a plus b, a minus b. So here we have x plus 4, multiplied by x minus 4, this is equal to 0. We have got two parts here, we have x plus 4, this is equal to 0, and we have x minus 4, this is equal to 0. So x3, <coughs> this is equal to minus 4, and x4, this is equal to 4. So this implies that we have got four solutions. We have four solutions here. We have that x1 is equal to minus 4i. Then we have x2 is equal to 4i. Then we have x3, this is minus 4, and we have x4. This is equal to 4. So these are the four solutions that we have. 
two complex solutions and two real solutions here. We have two complex solutions and two real solutions. So let's verify that these solutions here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, we have that x to the power of 2 divided by 16. This is equal to 16 over x to the power of 2. So let's start with x1, which is minus 4i. So we have minus 4i raised to the power of 2 divided by 16. This is equal to 16 over minus 4i raised to the power of 2. So here we have minus 4 squared. This is equal to 16 times i squared divided by 16. This is equal to 16 divided by 16 multiplied by i squared. Remember i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So this implies that this is 16 times minus 1 over 16. This is equal to 16 divided by 16 times minus 1. So 16 and 16 here simplifies so that we have minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x1 here satisfies the equation. x1 satisfies the equation. Now, let's check x2. Let's check x2. x2 in this case, this is equal to 4i. Now we have 4i raised to the power of 2 divided by 16. This is equal to 16 over 4i raised to the power of 2. So here this is 4 squared. This is 16 times i squared divided by 16. This is equal to 16 over 4 squared. This is 16 times i squared. So remember i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So we have 16 multiplied by minus 1 over 16. This is equal to 16 over 16 times minus 1. Now if we simplify here, then we have minus 1. This is equal to minus 1. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. Now, let's take x3, which is equal to, in this case, x3 is equal to minus 4. So let's verify this. So we have minus 4 to the power of 2 divided by 16. This is equal to 16 over minus 4 raised to the power of 2. So minus 4 squared, this is equal to 16 over 16. This is equal to 16 over 16. So 16 divided by 16, this is 1. And 16 divided by 16, this is 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that x3, which is minus 4, satisfies the equation. Now, let's check x4, which is equal to 4. Let's substitute this. Then we have 4 raised to the power of 2 divided by 16. This is equal to 16 over 4 to the power of 2. So we have 4 squared. This is 16 over 16, which is equal to 16 over 16. So this implies that 16 divided by 16, this is 1, and 16 divided by 16, this is 1. So the left add side, this is equal to the right add side. Now this implies that x4 also satisfies the equation. And this... And this implies that the four solutions here satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.